all of you, whenever you come to Iskon Temple, listen a class, you always hear probably the same thing. Chant Krishna's name, worship Krishna, eat Krishna Prasadam, serve Krishna. Am I right? Is that all, all, always you hear? The message is very much the same. So you may be having this question, why they don't have, a, why they don't discuss something else, some other issues in the society? Why they don't discuss addictions? Why they don't discuss drug? Why they don't discuss uh, other problems that we are facing? Economic challenge. So, so all these uh, problems we face, uh, actually it boils down to one answer that uh, Srila Prabhupada said again and again um, that we have uh, we need to establish our relationship with the Supreme. Right now we are identifying with body, identifying what nation, what color we are. So that is where the problem is. So I'd like to share with you, uh, as I was told that you finished chapter 9, so you are probably thinking to go to chapter 10. So I have some content that I prepared for you to uh, look at it. So, Maggyanat Mirandasya Gyananjana Shalokaya Chukshun Mitangana Tashmai Shri Gurave Namaha Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Jayapataka Shaminiti Namini Namo Acharya Padaya Nitaya Kipa Padaya Nitaya Gaura Kata Dhamadaya Naguru Gramatari Nam. Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale. Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Shaminiti Nam. Namaste Sarasata Devi Guru Vani Pracharine. Nirvishesha Shunnavadi Pashtata Dishatari Nam. Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adaita Gadadara Shri Vashadi Gaura Bhakta Vinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So, I was trying to mention you that the all the problem we are having is because we are identifying with the body and uh, not with the soul, not with Krishna. So, what Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita uh, that is what Krishna's message is. Uh, can you see my screen, right? You can see, right? So, we need to come to this to understand these three things, Samanda, Ovidya and Proyajan. So we are going to chapter 10, that is the opulence of the Supreme Lord, Vibhuti Yoga. So even though chapter 7, chapter 8, Lord Krishna revealed some of his opulences, uh, but in chapter 10 he revealed his opulences in full. So, uh, there are four verses, which is um, in chapter 10, from, chap uh, from verses from 8, 9, 10, 11, these verses are called Chatushluki Bhagavad Gita. Our previous Acharya like Vishnu Chakrut Thakur, he explained why it is Chatushluki, just like originally Lord Krishna revealed the knowledge to Lord Brahma in four verses in Bhagavatam. Uh, so similar content, content we can find in chapter 10 in these four verses. So please read the verses very carefully. Let me read, uh, I have actually three today. Okay. So this is uh, verse 8 
अहम सर्वस्व प्रभाव मत्ता सर्व प्रवर्तते मत्वा भजंते माम बुधा भाव समित आई एम दि सोर्स अफ अल स्पिरिचुअल एंड मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड एव्रीथिंग एमेनेट्स फ्रम मी द वाइज हू परफेक्टली नो दिस एंगेज इन माई डिवोशनल सार्विस एंड वाशिप मी उथ अल देयर हार्टस लेट मी गो to the sambandha again what is sambandha the definition of sambandha is the process of understanding our relationship with lord krishna so as i said right now we are identifying with our body or male female or i am a black white hispanic practically in america if you fill up a form anywhere a job application anywhere you will have to or passport application you will have to identify yourself whether you are asian you are hispanic you are american like same things like that so but this identification is with the body but actually our identification should be with the soul and uh, with lord krishna the supreme personality of god once we can do that then we can live peacefully and all most of our problems will be solved just like shila prabhupad said the one country one country is strong and that country leader or the people they think that they can dominate on other countries um so the process the knowledge we can have to uh, establish that relationship with with the supreme that is sambandha gan so the in this in this regard lord chaitanya says jivera sarupa hoya nitya krishna das so what is our true identity that we are eternally servant of lord krishna eternally servant so that position will never change even if you are liberated uh like right now we are conditioned originally we are in the spiritual world with krishna but somehow or other we have been disconnected from krishna we have came to material world and our acharya sanshila prabhupad explained the why we have been disconnected because we had envy we wanted to compete with krishna we wanted to uh lord it over the over others Uh, so because of that just like father um, the children are disturbing in one place then father will say to go to other room don't disturb here so that is the reason the lord created the material world and uh, we have come here so basically we have come in contact with matter from spirit to matter now our goal is to go back to krishna establish the relationship that is why you know in hari krishna temple you come the message is the same chant krishna's name serve krishna worship krishna just like lord krishna also says in bhagavad gita mat jaji ma mang namaskuru man mama bhava mat bhakto mat jaji mang namaskuru so man mana just think of me man mama bhava mat mat bhakto become my devotee message is the same mat jaji worship me man mama bhava mat bhakta mat jaji then mame bashya satyante you by doing so you will be able to understand me and come back to me so the process we can uh make the relationship is called obhideya so let me read the definition of sambandha knowledge of one's spiritual identity and his eternal relationship with shri krishna by receiving the mercy of the rather uh, so that each uh, each knowledge category uh, sambandha category obhidya category prayojan category there is a dt uh, the represent uh, represent on that aspect so sambandha uh, rep- um, is represented by the acharya of this sambandha gyan is uh, sanatan goshami and the deities are the madan mohan uh, 
by receiving the mercy of the radha madan mohan deity and by studying the writings of the sambandho acharya shila sanatan goswami devotee will attain sambandho gyan or knowledge of one's spiritual identity and his eternal relationship with shri krishna shila prabhupad quoted madan mohan sanatan goswami's deity helps us process progress in krishna consciousness in the execution of krishna consciousness our first business is to know krishna and our relationship with him which we can learn by worshiping the madan mohan vigraha so why is this deity is the is representing the sambandho gyan is because originally these three deities were installed by great grandson of lord krishna is bajrana and later when uh, mahamadans attacked in india then uh, the they left the priest was left the worship and but when mahaprabhu appeared his disciples like six goshamis when they came to vinda when they rescued the deities and installed and the worship again established so the name madan mohan um, is that one who even attracts the cupid the lord krishna is so attractive he attracts all of us he attracts all the jeevas all the souls so that is where we get this sambandho uh, because he wants us to go back to him so obideya is the thing that the process of establishing that sambandho what is the process devotional service obideya refers to acting according to that constitutional relationship so acharya of this obideya part of us of our uh, the aspect obideya aspect is shila rupa goshami why shila rupa goshami wrote book like uh, nectar of devotion there you can see the process how to execute devotional service it is all explained there and his deity is radha govinda ji so here is the temple of radha govinda ji which was which is uh, still even though it was partially destroyed and but in in the time of mogul emperor rulers it was even bigger than their emperor's capital like uh, shining you know bright and then uh, you know that uh, history how uh, this temple was attacked so radha, radha govinda ji is uh, installed there radha govinda ji or the the um this temple uh, is considered the center of in dham center of vindavan dham uh, any holy place has a center that is called yoga pitha like in mayapur there is yoga pitha where mahaprabhu is born uh, in vindavan the center of vindavan dham is the the where our rupa goshami found this deity found nearby on the bank of jamuna so that is considered this area is considered yoga pitha so obideya refers to acting again according to that constitutional relationship shila rupa goshami is the acharya of obideya and he reveals how to execute devotional service his deity of radha govinda ji aspects accepts service and gives in aspiration for increasing surrender on the path of bhakti yoga by writing many books shila rupa goshami has very kindly established the scientific basis of bhakti shila prabhupad quote everyone should read this book nectar of devotion very attentively because all the exclusive statements about the kingdom of bhakti are contained in this transcendentally valuable book it is the essence of all vedic scriptures enlightening about krishna consciousness if anyone read this nectar of devotion very carefully he will have all guidance in the bhakti cult prayojan is the what is the ultimate goal of bhakti or goal of life is to achieve love of godhead krishna prema that is prayojan so the definition is 
Uh, provision is the ultimate goal of life, which is to develop love of Godhead. Prema, Pumartha Mahan. So in this uh, aspect of bhakti, um, uh, the Acharya is Raghunath Das Goswami, even though this picture is, I, I don't find any picture of Raghunath Das Goswami. Only you can find this Samadhi picture, I guess. So this picture is actually from um, Madhu Pandit, one who found Radha Gopinath deity in Vindavan. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami accepts the lotus feet of Srila Rupa Goswami as his highest aspiration. He thus reveals the way to attain the perfection of one's loving relationship with Sri Krishna. Through humble prayers and service to Radha Gopinath deity and by imbibing the teachings and mercy of Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, a devotee can quickly advance in Krishna in devotional service and ultimately attain the goal of life prema bhakti. So the deity is Radha Gopinath. Um, Radha Govindaji, that previous one we talked, Radha Govindaji representing Obhidaya because Govinda, the name itself has the meaning one who uh, pleasing or the senses. Pleasing the senses of go, being the, the senses and the cows. So Lord Krishna is pleasing the cows and our senses. So by engaging our senses, we can achieve that stage, uh, satisfy Krishna and then we can be freed from the bondage. So that's why this uh, deity Govinda is representing Ovidya. And Madan, uh, sorry, Radha Gopinath, Gopinath is the lord of the gopis. So that involves the, those who are in the highest stage of devotional service, who has pure love for Krishna. Uh, they know uh, the secret of bhakti is the love, love of God. That's why this deity represents proyajan or the ultimate goal of life. Srila Prabhupada quoted, the Gauriya Vaishnavas who follow strictly in the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu worship the divinity by chanting transcendental sounds mean to develop a sense of one's transcendental relationship with the Supreme Lord, Sammanda. And reciprocation of melos of mutual affection, Ovidaya, and ultimately the achievement of the desired success is loving Krishna Prayajan. These three deities, Madan Mohan, Govindaji, Gopinath, are worshipped in three different stages of one's development. The followers of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu scrupulously follow these principles of approach. So you know that when you, I don't know if you have joined uh, any, any Acharya's appearance or disappearance in Iskon temple, we offer, in the Mongols, we offer three prayers, Basically, those three prayers are offered to these three deities. So, some of the prayers offered to Radha Madan Mahon. Jayatam surato pangarama manda matir gati matsarvasapadam bhojau radha madana mohanau. Glory to all merciful Radha and Madan Mahon. I am lame and ill advice, yet they are my directors and their lotus feet are everything to me. So this is composed by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Obhidaya pra, Pranam Mantra is offered to Radha Govinda Ji. Dibbad Bindarana Kalpadru Madha Srimad Ratnagara Singhasana Stau Srimad Radha Srila Govinda Devav Prasthali Visabhamana Usmarami In a temple of jewels in Vindavan, underneath a desert tree, Sri Sri Radha Gopinath, Sri Sri Radha Govinda, served by their most confidential associates, sits upon on a pearls and throne. I offer my most humble obeisances unto them. Prayasana Soya Odideva, Odideva means representing the one, 
So each one has the Odi Deva. Obide Odi Deva, Shamanda Odi Deva, and Prajana Odi Deva. Odi Deva is the Lord who represents Prajana. So Pranam Mantra is Shri Man Rasha Rasha Rambe Vang Shri Bata Tata Stita Karshan Venur Shanair Gopir Gopir Natha Shri Astuna Shri Shila Gopinath who originated the transcendental mellow of the Rasa dance stands on the shore in Vindav in Vangshibat and attracts the attention of the cowherd themselves with the sound of his celib- celebrated flute. May they all conquer upon us their benedictions. So now I am going to actually um, could someone volunteer to read this verse. This is Verse 8, uh, among the audience, either online or in person, at, at Iskand Baton Rouge. Aham sarvasya prabhava mathaya sarpam varavartyate kiti matka ajante nam buddha bhava samadhita. Okay, thank you. Is that... Um, Madan Kunda Prabhu. Okay, let me make it bigger. I'm sorry, I should have made it bigger before. So Prabhu, could you... So, now I'm going to ask you a question. Since you read this, please identify where in this verse Samando applies and anything else applies in whether obide applies or provision applies in this verse can you answer i can't answer now Okay, so Samanda means again our relationship with the Supreme. So Lord Krishna here revealing Aham Sarvasya Prabhava. I am the Lord of everything. Sarvasya means everything. I am the source of all, Srila Prabhupada translated, I am the source of all spiritual and material world. Everything emanates from me. So this part, Aham Sarvasya Prabhava, Matta Sarvam, everything emanates from me. No other scripture we find, and even within our Sanatan Dharma, no other gods, demigods like Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma claim like this. Only Krishna claims in Bhagavad Gita. Aham Sarvasya Prabhava Matta Sarvang Prabhartate. So that is Sammandagan. Iti Matva Bhajante Maam Buddha Bhava Samannita. So next two lines, anybody can uh, say what uh, what aspect is applied here, either Ovidya or Prajan? Any volunteer? Vishnupri, you can unmute. Anybody raise hand, you can unmute them, right? Yeah. Okay. If anybody wants to volunteer, what aspect is revealed here in the second two lines? So let me answer that. The wise who perfectly know this engage in my devotional service and worship me with all their hearts. So, uh, Buddha Bhava Samanita, the Buddha Bhava means the wise people. The, those who are intelligent, they will not waste their time for something else. They don't have any other aspiration in life. Of course, we maintain our family, we work, we have a job. But our goal is to be Buddha Bhava Samanita. Uh, wise who perfectly know this. What he does? He engages in my devotional service. The Bhajante... Those who are expert, like our Acharya says, is bhajante part is revealing provision, like love of God. Because bhajan, you, you can only 
uh, apply to pure loving uh, emotion to your the object of your love uh, if you say jajanti i mean if you say pujanti puja kot, i am doing puja or i am doing upasana then a love does not apply what applies is a uh, business i am i am worshiping you so that i can get this benediction most people do that they come to a temple uh, or even us uh, you know sometimes we ask something some benediction from the lord which is fine bhagavatam says akama sarva kama moksha kama vaudarati you have all kinds of these desire and you are free from desire doesn't matter you worship krishna so bhajante applies that you know when you do not want anything in return i had one incident uh, where uh, our houston temple cashier asked me to open the hundi box and then i because it was after the sunday so we are going to count the donations so how much donations we have so while counting dollars and the coins i found a note there and I, it was very interesting that i can share with you the note was somebody donated some money and he put his prayer you know please bless me with my daughter's graduation please bless me with my wife's uh, health problem please bless me with the promotion in the office seven or eight items he is asking for that so that is what we are we want something in return we worship krishna we want something in return but then it becomes a um it becomes business it is not a uh, pure love of god it so so we got two things applied here uh, sammandagan applied here and we got um, in this shloka we got also provision applied so here bhajante indicates provision love got it that krishna wants us to love him uh, number 9 matsitta mad gato prana bodhayanta parasparam kathayanta samam nitam tushanti charamanti cham this is a beautiful verse my favorite verse would anyone would like to volunteer and read this please raise your hand and we can unmute you i just not what do you what do you want me to read the translation the god of my pure devotees dwell in me their light their lives are fully devoted to my service and they derive great satisfaction and bless from always enlightening one another in conversing about me so lord is asking you to engage in this activity basically what we are right now we are doing now krishna house is doing now the thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me their lives are fully devoted to my service matsitta matsitta means that they always think of me mat gato prana it is even more advanced stage we just always don't think of krishna we also want to give our life krishna is our life and soul for krishna's satisfaction we can do anything we can take any risk just like shila prabhupada actually took risk to come to us and spread krishna consciousness so that is madgata prana bodhayanta parasparam what what we do then what is prescribed the devotees they gather in one place and then discuss about me kathayanta uh, kathayanta mam nittam and that is they do regularly right now we are doing only in, on sunday but devotees pure devotees they do this regularly kathayanta so they talk about me bodhan so they make each other understand about me so these three lines matsitta madgato prana bodhayanta parasparam kathayanta samam dittam this goes uh, could you answer what category it falls in is there sambandha or obideya or prayojan 
Could anybody answer? Sambandha. Very good answer. Now, it is not Sambandha, it is Obhideya. Because Obhideya means activities, devotional service. Just like we said, Navavida Bhakti, right? Sarvanam Kirtanam. First one is hearing, right now we are hearing. Uh, kirtanam, I am chanting, I am talking about Krishna, you are hearing. Sravanam Kirtanam, Archanam, worshipping the Lord, Vandanam, offer prayers to the Lord, Archanam, Vandanam, Dashram, become servant of the Lord, Shakkam, become friend of the Lord, Atma Nivedanam, surrender to the Lord. So these activities, think of Krishna, Madgata Prana, Matsita Madgata Prana, you should discuss about me among yourselves. That activity falls in the Obhideya category. Tushantisa Ramantisa, doing so, we derive Tushanti, means we derive unlimited bliss and satisfaction. Bliss and satisfaction, Tushanti, satisfaction and bliss. That falls in the category of Proyajan. So in the Proyajan category, that is what it is coming. So now we know, you know the answer why in Hare Krishna temple, uh, we come and we hear the same message again and again. Surrender to Krishna, worship Krishna, engage your life, make Krishna the center of your life. And that's why our movement is different than some other or many other Hindu temples. Uh, many other Hindu temples you go, you make an offering, you, you take puja thali, of, take coconut, take some fruits. Um, you just pray and then you come home. But if you go to Hare Krishna temple, um, you can immediately see the altar. Krishna is beautifully decorated every morning, new outfit, different outfit. Every morning, fresh flower garlands uh, and uh, devotees chanting. And the class, the devotees giving, asking the same thing. So how we can apply those in our life? Uh, could anybody share? Uh, um, anybody can give some reflection on this, how we can apply those in our life? from the audience. I can... Uh, let me remove myself from the spotlight so you all are a spotlight, whoever is speaking. Yes, how we can apply those in our daily life. If we practice this activity every day. How we can practice? Following the, what it says, that Svavanam, Kirtanam, and Shiva. Very good. So let's talk about Svavanam. So uh, right now we are going to chapter 10. So I, we can uh, sit with our family members and study. So one of the recommended process to study Bhagavad Gita is taking the course. So there is a course available online, you can take the course, Bhakti Shastri course. I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend. If you want to understand Bhagavad Gita, please take these courses, available in English, Hindi, uh, Bengali and many other languages. Uh, so, Vishnu, please, my time is out, right? So can I take questions? Anyone has questions? Yes, of course, Prabhu. Anyone has any questions, please uh, feel free to unmute or you can raise your hand. If you raise your hand, we can unmute yourself. I mean, or you can unmute yourself, I guess. Looks like there is no question. So, thank you so much and uh, thank you, Ella, for allowing me to speak about Krishna. Uh, again, my humble request, please read every chapter. So let me ask you a question now, since you guys don't ask me questions. So, uh, 
Okay, so I put the gallery view here. I can see everybody. What is Samanda? I'm recapping my class. Three aspects, right? Samanda, Vidya, Provision. Could someone answer? So only the uh, people talking from the Krishna house, everybody else online is not uh, active, I guess. That's my guess. So, uh, uh, yes, Madan Kunda Prabhu, um, what is Lakshman Prabhu. Lakshman Prabhu. Lakshman Prabhu, what is some, Samanda? Huh? Establish the relationship with the Supreme. The process. So, what is Obhidaya? Obhidaya is the process. Obhidaya is the process. Sravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam, Smaranam, Bandhanam, Dashram, Sakkham, Atma, Nivedanam. So, let's say Sravanam, Kirtanam, Arsanam. Arsanam is the worshipping the Lord. We can worship the Lord at our home. You don't have to go to Mandir. You can worship on his on his pictures. You can have a beautiful picture on your or make an altar and you can worship there. Offer flower. What Krishna wants? A flower, a fruit, little water, a leaf. In you already read this right? in chapter nine. The flower, fruit. Krishna is not asking so much. <laughs> Only asking for little things. So, Krishna is only asking for very few things, only four things. But the bottom line is we offer him with love and devotions. So, uh, so that is someone that is Obhideya. And then Proyazan, what is Proyazan means? The goal or purpose. Uh, goal of goal of devotional life is to achieve love of God. That is provision. These three things are provision. Who represent the deity of Samanda? Who represent the deity of Samanda? Mother Mohan. Radha Madan Mohan, very good answer. Smart audience at Krishna House. <laughs> who represent the deity? Uh, who represent what deity represent the aspect of Obhidya? Radha Govinda. Radha Govinda ji. So who who established Govinda ji temple, or who found Radha Govinda ji? Sanatan Goswami. Rupa Goswami. Radha Madan Mohan is the deity of Sanatan Goswami. So, who represent the aspect of Proyazan, love of Godhead? Radha Gopinath. Radha Gopinath. And who is the Acharya of Radha Gopinath? I mean, who Radha found Radha, Radha Gopinath? Deity? Radha Gopinath. Raghunath Das Goswami is the Acharya, but the deity was found by Madhu Pandit. Madhu Pandit found the deity at the place of Vongshibot in Vindavan. Thank you so much. So I end here, I guess you will go for uh, Kirtan, I believe, or Arati. And, uh, thank Vishnu Priya for allowing me to speak and thank all the devotees come in Krishna house. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, 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 Prabhuji for such a wonderful lecture and uh, for such a uh, beautiful presentation. We all got to learn so much and it was a very interactive uh, class with so many practical examples that we can relate to. Um, I hope that we can hear from you again. So please uh, keep on uh, joining us in the future. So now we will move on to the final part of the program.